For a segment we like to call So They Say. So they say health labels could discourage people from buying those sugary drinks. So if you saw a health label that had high numbers in sugar, would you still want to try it? Hmm? Well, the study took place down under in Australia, where researchers asked a group of young adults to choose one of 15 beverages. They found most of the participants were less likely to choose a sugary drink when there was a health label on the front of the can or the bottle. They especially avoided these drinks if the labels warned about the risk of tooth decay, obesity, and diabetes. Now, I have to be honest with you, I do, I do feel like I would be more prone to not get a sugary drink or be interested in a sugary drink if there was a health label on the front. However, I still do it. I mean, <laughs> yeah. And just broadening this a bit, I mean, how often do you tell yourself, no, I'm not gonna go with that, you know, Zaxby's number two, now that they have the, uh, the calorie count yeah. on, mm. on all the menu items, you know, do you do that? <laughs> Everything in moderation is what I yeah, say. You know, you don't want to overdo it. Yeah. I think it'll help, though, if you are in the mood to, to be receptive to counting calories or watching your sugar. Mm -hmm. in the I mood. think that'll help you uh, to make a better decision if you're like, I know I'm consciously trying to slim down for the summer. Right. Or whatever the case may be. Ah, okay. So <laughs> waistline. Right. 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 waistline. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah I, I, well, I've stopped drinking sugary drinks uh, here lately, but because of, uh, you know, complications that runs in the family. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if you know your family history, then it may be better for you not to do so. Exactly, and it yeah. might help you to make those educated decisions. There you go. Mm -hmm. All right, we've got much more ahead for you on Morning.